Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. What's up, noodles? <laughs> Sorry, it's Dan and it's Aaron. The Game Grumps. That was... Let me give you a little... Let me give you a little... Oh, I should probably turn this down. Let me give you a little back background of why I laughed at that slightly. Okay. Oh, thank you. Because Couldn't just be that I'm funny. No. And talented? Dan, you know that's true. Thank you. I would never not say that you're funny. <laughs> you're the funniest man I know. Oh, that you're, was an appreciation sneeze. And it's not just that you're the funniest man I know, you're the most consistently funny man. Oh, Aaron. My feelings. Um, They're soaring. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, we were just... <laughs> we were just having a, a long conversation before this. Mm-hmm. That was very like low key. Yes. And 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 chill. Uh. And chill. And uh, I was like, oh man, well, I guess this is gonna be a chill day of, of doing game grumps because this is the first episode of our recording. Session. And then I just come hard swinging <laughs> yeah, out the gate. Like, Sup noodles? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. No nothing for me tops uh, your bienvenido power bottoms out of nowhere. <laughs> I- I fight the urge to say that to people all the time. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's one, like, there's one Game Grumps episode where, it, like, we started and you were just like, Bienvenido, Power Bottoms! <laughs> you don't remember that? No. It wasn't that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it with such joy and determination. You know, I- I think I do remember- I don't remember saying that, but I do remember the feeling of, like, I've got something I want to start this episode with. Yes. And I really hope to God I could just come out the gate with, like, the power. The, the strength. The fury. Uh, speaking of the fury, I watched Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, that movie rules. Oh my god, it's so good. Is that your first time seeing it? Uh, no, I had seen it on a plane, which was still- Oh, come on. I know, but it was still awesome. Yeah. Even on the tiny screen. But then seeing it for real, for real, I was like, <laughs> I was- I was blown away! Dude, fucking movie rules. It was amazing. That and Fantasia, which I- which was the first time I saw it. Oh, hell yeah. So you saw Chernabog. What is that? He's like the big devil guy. Oh yeah, he's a fucking bastard at oh, the end. I love Chernabog. That, um... It's like my favorite Disney character. Is it really? Yeah. It is... It is a strange movie. Uh, very surprised that Disney himself decided to go with Satan? <laughs> As a character. Oh, yeah, he loves Satan. Yeah. Big fan. Totally into Satan. Uh, I, I... I loved it. I thought it was really interesting. Um, it was a very... It felt like, in a lot of ways, it sort of felt like the first... What you would expect the first Disney movie to be. Like, just someone coming out at... For anyone who hasn't seen it, there's, um, an orchestra leader who, uh, introduces all these little animated vignettes, and then the animation happens, usually with no dialogue, and it's all set to music and stuff like that. And... Hold on, before you go into it, uh -huh. tap your mic. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, I just want to make sure that it was that one, because they're both aimed at you. I, I was know. just like, which one is the one? Uh, I, okay, here, I'll get a little... Get a little sexy and closer. God oh, damn it, Aaron. Dude, you know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe I'm just dumb. No, not possible. Uh, so that, that, um, there's an orchestra leader, and in between the vignettes, he'll introduce them and kind of say uh, what you're about to see. But it felt like, because Ash was showing me the first animated thing ever, basically, where that guy's in front of the, um, uh, the dinosaur, and he's like, show me, d you know what I'm talking about? It's a black and white brontosaurus, and there's a man in front of it, and he's like, hey, Cheryl, I'm making up that name, but, yeah. hey, Cheryl, g eat out of my hand, and the dinosaur's head comes down, and everyone must have been like, <gasps> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's so like, like, like when the film first started, and there was like the movie of the train, and everyone ducked. Yes, exactly. Um, that that's what Fantasia kind of felt like, where it's it's sort of, um, uh, you know, this, the, here's your introduction to animation in general. Um, but it wasn't, it was their fourth or third. It was after Snow White and Pinocchio. Well, I think Fantasia was the f You know, I might just be making this up completely. Mm -hmm. 
I, I feel like Fantasia was the first one that was sort of like, adults come see this. It certainly seemed that way. As opposed to like, this is a children's film. It does have friggin' Satan in it. Yeah. It so does. there's your first clue. I mean, he doesn't, like, come out the gate, though. He's not like, oh, this movie's about Satan, by the way. No, no, I mean, you he lulls... Disney lulls you to sleep with an adorable uh, alligator hippopotamus ballet dance. Oh, yeah. And then, boom! Hits uh, you with the devil. And then the little racist mushrooms. Where are they? Oh, yeah! I guess they, yeah. They did have the little... They did have an Asian bend to them. Yeah. Uh... But I thought, I thought the dinosaur part was cool. Um... It's funny, too, because... That movie's from 1940, and dinosaurs were only discovered in, you know, the 1800s. So, they really- the concept of them was still kind of fairly new. And, um... It, it's interesting to see what they thought dinosaurs looked like and moved like, which is so different than the ideas they have now. Um, now that more fossils have been discovered. Uh... Oh, yeah. There's the- the- the Har Harryhausen... Claymation. Right? With the dinosaur that's standing on his- his back legs and like his tail's like on the ground. Oh! And they had to like- they-, they like, even back then like... I, I- seem to remember there being a story but you know what I'm talking about, right? Like I don't. Like old, 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 old claymation... Uh, animations of black and white of like the dinosaurs. Oh, like in- like King Kong and that kind of thing? Like when yeah, he fights was, the T-Rex? Yeah, like pre that. Even. Wow. Um, but th there was, you know, the first like... T-Rex... On yeah, film, I guess. And it's standing like Godzilla. Yeah, exactly, yeah. with like its tail on the ground and yeah. everything. And and I guess even back then there was sort of like a sense of like they made that thing and then like broke its tail because Oh, no kidding. to make it stand like that because they were convinced that's how it stood even though they were like the evidence was like right in front of them of like no no no, they don't that's that's unrealistic. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. But it was interesting cuz clearly they they a lot of information was missing and um, th there's that scene where the Tyrannosaurus fights a Stegosaurus, and I just wanted to be like, Um, actually, the Stegosaurus was from the Jurassic period, and Tyrannosaurus was from the Cretaceous. <laughs> so, uh, d d technically, uh, Tyrannosaurus and humans were closer together in, uh, history than Tyrannosaurus and Stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, my own girlfriend was like, um, I'm, you're, uh, I'm re-virginizing you. I'm dubbing you a virgin again, and we're done. <laughs> we're done here. I actually hate you. And always have. <laughs> the, the fact that you said that just ruined all good memories I have of you. Yep. I lost my lady boner for you. <laughs> Which is still a concept I don't fully understand. But the lady boner? Yeah. Well, the... Say it, Aaron. The, the clitoris. <laughs> yeah! Hell is yeah. It's basically just a girl penis. Sick. Yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to hear you say it so I could get hot. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in this level? I'm dying left and right. Dude. It is really hard it's, to watch. Yeah, well, <laughs> not 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 because of your play, but just like the the visually, it just looks weird. Yeah. Oh yeah. It sucks. This is the first mission. What? Oh well, I mean, I I don't know. I guess that is a weird way to put it. First mission. By that I mean the tenth mission. Yeah. And by that I mean Tails' third mission. Yeah, first mission out of the series of thirty. <laughs> uh, but like we've already, like sixteen have happened. Uh, uh, but it's, but it's fine. But it's uh, yeah. It's dramatic. Uh, totally, yeah. <laughs> cool. Ma I can see Mappa. everything. <laughs> I can see everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no camera. Oh yeah, there is. Never mind. I'm sorry I ever said that. I was wrong. I take it back. What was Don't the post in the comments. There's <laughs> camera movement. What was the video we did where Matt Pat is floating away into the sunset and you're like, Matt Pat, floating <laughs> away into the sunset. <laughs> I it's don't got, know. It's got sunglasses on. I have no idea. Oh man, I wish Dude, I could remember. My fucking memory's terrible. Uh, I didn't even remember barnacles until you brought it back up. Oh, your nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Well. When someone tells you they had a dream where a girl's boobs were barnacles, that shit sticks with a man. <laughs> yeah, that, that I saw it. Like I literally saw it in my in front of my face yeah. because it was in my dream and I don't remember it. Isn't that fucking wild? It is very weird. It's also weird how like when you're stressed out and you're having like stressful dreams, how sleeping is you, you wake up less refreshed than oh, when you went yeah. to sleep. It's like fuck. 
Because it's like sleep is like brain parsing, right? Like, you're just going through all the things that are already on your mind, but like yeah. metaphorical ways because it's your mind's just like, I don't need to think about reality anymore. Yeah, that idea dreams are unfinished thoughts. It's a fucking Chinese myth dragon now. I'm sorry? <laughs> that was in the that was in the barnacles dream. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is a Chinese myth dragon. I forgot about that. Don't kill me. Oh. Now you're doing great with spots and shit. Yeah, cuz I'm tearing ass. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I was doing on the toilet today, too. And awesome. Spread <laughs> spreading those cheeks and cutting those <laughs> turds. <laughs> My friend Brian, not not Ninja Brian, but another Brian. Just Not the Brian that, that, is, that is in the office. One of his favorite stupid, like, chauvinistic things to say is like, eh, Check out the turd cutter on that one. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, like, dude, really? Really? Yeah, perhaps I have mentioned that before. That one fucking kills me. <laughs> it's, it's like the least sexy thing you could possibly turd say. Turd cutter. <laughs> I used it the other day. R really? Yeah. Well, How'd to, it go? To, to a group of- well, No! To a group of people that you don't know. And everyone laughed. They liked it? Yeah. Oh, good. And I was like, and I made sure, I was like, it's not mine. I didn't make that joke. I can't take credit for it. It's very important to me for some reason. <laughs> to, 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 to make sure you have a bibliography of yes. everything you've ever said? Well, I, yes, I guess so. Yeah. I guess that's a good way to put it. It's cool. Well, like, I don't know where I'm going. So oh, well. I go. Oh, I, I would have liked to have seen you sneak into that bottom area. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> All right, sneak into that turd cutter. <laughs> that stop. That, that statue is hideous. Yeah, well, maybe it doesn't like you either. Uh, it probably doesn't. And oh, I've got a bone to pick. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick. I've got a bone to pick. Never quite understood where that phrase came from. A bone to pick. I've got a bone to pick with you. Um... I don't know. Let's look it up next time on Game Grounds. Yeah. Chew the fat was always a pretty gross one. Chew the fat. Yeah, yeah like, but sometimes the fat is like, yeah, alright, I'll chew it. <laughs> well, that, that's that's so where that really must come steak. from, right? Because... To chew the fat means to talk to someone at length. Um... Or maybe just chat with someone. But it must be the idea, like, after you finish the meat in the meal, like... There's just a fat left, but you want to hang out and talk more. Oh. I, th I, f I guess that's where it comes from? I don't know, for sure. Damn. It's a good steak. Yeah. Welcome to our linguistics podcast. Do you all like it? That's a podcast format. We were, we were talking about podcast formats before we started the episode. Yeah. Um, Brian yeah. loves those. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's definitely a podcast format that exists. It is weird, right? There's multiple ones. I feel like there's a lot of pressure for a linguistics podcast. Because if you, like, fuck up just talking... Yeah. And people are like, well, why did you even watch this in the first place, you stupid idiots? You don't even know. <laughs> anyway, next time. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like doing a Let's Play channel where neither guy can play video games well. Well, that's beside the point. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just saying. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> you should just call it a Let's Joke. Yeah. A let's jerk. Oh my god. Oh. Think of all the time we could save if we got her jacking off and let's playing out of the way at the same time.